new strategy with the microphone this week welcome to ups and downs hello guys welcome to second ups and downs for raw achievement so monday night raw started with nikki ash or nikki cross or nikki something down the match itself was okay but uh, at some point damage control came out they interfered in the match Nikki Cross decided to play a good guy, or I'm not sure what kind of guy she wanted to play, but she attacked them, all of the members of the damage control, and basically Bianca beat her up after that. After that, Asuka and Alexa returned, and later that night they'll have a woman tag team's title match. But the down is because why Nikki Cross is losing on her first match back is Nikki Cross. Next up, Brock and Bobby Lashley are having interview, but Brock is not showing up for the interview. Bobby Lashley starts with the question. I don't remember what exactly was the question, but the second question uh, when it was asked, basically Brock came out into the ring instead of going into the interview set and said, I want Bobby Lashley now. I want to fight you now. Okay, this is not the Brock, Brock's voice. As I said in the previous episode, don't beat me up, Brock. Don't beat me up, Bobby Lashley. And up. Good stick. Even Triple H came out and uh, tried to stop fighting. Traps, try tried to stop fighting the fight. Yes. Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins. Up. It's an interesting matchup because one year ago, Austin Theory was a disciple in Seth Rollins' little thingy. Not even one year ago. I think it was two years ago. Anyway, and it's interesting now to see that match. I was impressed by Theory's skill in that match, but at the end, Rollins just won clean he didn't cheat it he didn't do anything spectacular it was just a good match all of a sudden we understand that bray wyatt is gonna show up at crown jewel question mark he's not gonna have a match no he's gonna show up at crown jewel why after that a roman came out and he was hyping his match but actually he was not hyping his match he gave the word to paul Heyman to hype his match against uh logan paul Paul Heyman started talking about the pins in Logan's hand. After that, the Miz came out and he said that the pins are real and something like that. And he said, I'm going to help you with Logan if you help me with Dexter. And basically, Roman knocked out Miz. And uh, yeah, that receives an up. Damien Priest versus Carl Anderson. Up. The match was okay, but at the end, Damian Priest got distracted and Kara Anderson got the victory. The main point of that match was to show that OC have a real problem. And uh, I was so excited to see that because probably at Crown Jewel, OC are gonna come out with a solution for you. And I'm really excited to see who is gonna be the solution to Rhea. JBL and Corbin down. As I said in the previous Raw, I just don't like the promos that JBL cut because they're, uh, he just uh, he was insulting the state of Texas and I can care less about that kind of humor or anything. And he said that he brought the modern day wrestling god into Texas. Baron Corbin came out. His promo was okay, because he was not talking about Texas, he was talking how he's better than everyone else, which is okay. He was about to say that he's gonna say the truth, and our truth came out, and after that, our truth said that he doesn't like the Halloween costumes of JBL and Corbin, because, you know, Halloween and stuff, and basically Corbin beat him up, that's it. Riddle and Otis, trick or street fight? Cringe name, I'm gonna admit that, cringe name, and I was really skeptical about that match, but it delivered. Rito came out with Elias, and he was dressed up as Ezekiel, which was hilarious, and after that Alpha Academy were dressed as someone who I don't know, uh, Patrick Swayze, and they made a funny little dance to the ring. During the match, Otis made a caterpillar. The caterpillar which was like his old move but it was great and at the end Rido RKO the pumpkin Otis was wearing a pumpkin but still it was a fun little match up the Miz versus Mustafa Ali 
up. I, I, I cannot say that the match was really spectacular or something else, but the highlights of the match was that at some point uh, Dexter Loomis came and he attacked Miss from behind. He attacked, he tried to get him. I'm not sure what exactly he tried to do Dexter, but he basically tried to attack him and then escaped. Uh, and after that, I saw the greatest super kick in recent years by Mustafa Ali. It was just... After that, we had a segment, which was like tell all segment. Basically an interview with Johnny Gargano, who was saying the truth about Miz and Dexter's story. I'm gonna give it an up. He was saying that uh, Dexter was left jobless and Miz found him and started paying him money in order for uh, Dexter to haunt him, but he was haunting him just for the attention and stuff like that. But at some point, Miz stopped paying Dexter, so that's why Dexter now is actually attacking Miz. It was... It was okay, it was good. Last but not least, women, women's tactic chip. Uh, women's tactic tag team match for the women's titles. Tag titles. Because I cannot say that in any other way. Good match. Oh, women left it on the line there. And we have a new. I cannot say that. I just don't know why I'm I'm not able to say that, but we have new champions. Asuka and Alexa Blaze are the new champions. Congratulations, it was a nice little thing. It's interesting how damage control will come back from that. Yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen at Crown Jewel. I suspect that Bianca is gonna retain. At the end, I was I was expecting some tag team to return like Sasha and Naomi. Maybe I'm too much of a fan to expect this, I don't know. But yeah, it was a good little thing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Overall score for this week's Raw, up. Of course, I set up the camera in a way that I cannot show you any visuals of dub, but you can imagine it. You can imagine that last part that I'm saying it's an up, right? See you guys in the next one. Uh, in a couple of days for SmackDown. <laughs>